Happy Groundhog Day, folks. Phil, I guess, saw his shadow this morning down in Pennsylvania, so I guess that means spring has arrived. Of course, we know better than that here in Maine, but uh, you'd never know it based on today's weather, yesterday's weather, 40s and 50s. You'd think spring is already here, but in this extended forecast, I think we have uh, some more winter to talk about. After all, it's only early February. I love this depiction of the groundhog. He's been sleeping, gets up, scratches himself a little bit. It's cloudy, of course, so he uh, stays out, out of his hole. So this is what the graphic computer came with. find it amusing anyway. Hey, uh, it looks like spring though. Check out uh, Catherine's photo in Harrison right there. Look at the ground. Uh, there's a lot of snow melting. Mount Washington looks gorgeous today. I was up at Shawnee Peak for a period and I can vouch for that. What a great looking day. As far as visibility goes, up on Mount Washington they're reporting a visibility of 110 miles. So serious visibility there. All right, let's start talking about our next storm that moves in on Wednesday, it looks primarily rain, but there will be areas that get a wintry mix, being snow, sleet, freezing rain, and most of that will be in this advisory area. Winter weather advisory is going to effect at 7 a.m. For this chunk here, for northern Carroll County, Coas County, southern Oxford County, you head farther to the north, they remain in effect until 4 p.m. What's going to happen in the cold air will take a little bit longer to be scoured out there. Okay, so there is an area of low pressure moving up into the Great Lakes. There's a lot of snow through portions of the Northern Plains heading up into the Great Lakes. A lot of moisture surging north out of the Gulf of Mexico. These two air masses are clashing here, and this is something you don't see too often. Blizzard warnings back into uh, oh, Nebraska, Iowa, and uh, Minnesota there. And yes, we have tornado warnings out along the cold front. In fact, large tornado reported in Alabama tonight. Uh, incredible stuff here as far as the uh, weather goes. In our weather tomorrow, we are just going to see rain, wintry mix for some towns, and a little bit of a wind to talk about as well. So here's our best estimate of how it's going to go down. Tomorrow morning, whatever falls for precipitation should be very light, but the temperature setup is going to be interesting. We're going to watch this pretty closely from Sebago Lake to Lewiston up through Augusta. Temps should be right around the freezing mark, and above us, temperatures may be briefly uh, cold enough to support a period of snow. So a little bit of snow is possible. The onset here, notice that freezing rain, air is in pink, is already mixing into the west. We have warmer air moving in aloft here. At the ground level, the coastal plain should see uh, rain moving in pretty quickly as temps just warm up too quickly there to support much uh, wintry mix. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the steadiest of the precipitation is starting to move in. Temperatures are still hovering in the mid-30s for areas like central Maine, so we're going to continue to watch that, but as far as the freezing rain goes, it looks as if it's going to hang out, hang out in the mountains. Some of those sheltered valleys that hold on to the freezing rain a little bit longer, you will keep that into the afternoon. Now, the afternoon, the steadiest rain will be primarily plain old rain as temperatures are above freezing for coastal areas that includes York County, Cumberland County, Mid-Coast Maine, up into Androscoggin, and in most of Kennebec County. Any leftover rain moves out late tomorrow night. The wind is going to pick up during the late day hours. We'll probably have southeast gusts probably around 30 to 40 miles per hour, so you'll feel that wind. It doesn't look extreme, but it looks a little bit windy to say the least by evening. By Thursday, this is 8.30 in the morning, notice the temperature setup. We're in the 40s still, so it's still quite mild. There's the chance some areas touch 50 degrees overnight. That'll be Wednesday night into Thursday, notice by afternoon. We're in the 40s, the mid-40s at that, so it'll be cooling just a little bit. There's a front that's stalled just offshore, a little area of low pressure developing along that. And it may come close enough to graze coastal areas with a brief period of snow or snow showers Friday morning. Shouldn't be a big deal, though. Areas in the mountains tomorrow should get, oh, a coating to two inches for a lot of areas. Up towards Carabasset Valley to use this perhaps two to four. The rooftop of Maine, I think there'll be spots to get three to six inches of snow. Looks mostly rain along coastal areas tomorrow. The wind picks up late in the day. Thursday will clear it out. That 49's in the morning, that 44 there on Wednesday is in the late, or is during the late day hours. You may see a brief snow shower along coastal areas Friday. That's mostly during the morning. Saturday looks decent. A front moves through Sunday and may bring with it a quick snow shower. With colder air moving in on Monday, I think our best estimate for a storm moving in will be Tuesday. And temps look cold, so I think we are tracking snow. Our next snowstorm should arrive on Tuesday based on today's forecast. And to be more specific, it's probably Tuesday afternoon and into Tuesday night. Of course, seven days away. Let's keep you updated as we get closer. That's the way things look. Again, happy Groundhog Day. More updates coming up on Fox 23 at 10, CBS 13 at 11. Have a nice night.